26. He takes care of Smallwood and Simonson. Now, Pate moves on to your semifinal match number three. The number two seed is looking for his first PBA Tour title from Houston, Texas, Sean Maldonado. The Candyman is back and making his fifth televised appearance. This 11-time regional champ has a unique two-handed style, and today he looks to win on the big stage for the first time in his career. He's a 33-year-old talent who won a remarkable four straight PBA Southwest regional events in 2016. Yeah. Four straight events. He'll sit and watch the four seed Nick Pate begin. Number Pate struck in the first in match one, struck in the first in match two. Here he is beginning match three. Go You hear him say good nine, and he got that ball inside a target, and that ball just laid there. So the middle part of the lane is developed. There's a lot of oil in the middle and down lane, which gives the players a little bit more area. We talked about the majors last week and the three, you know, the two two weeks prior and how flat the oil pattern was and what that meant. So this is the exact opposite. In fact, all five players on the telecast today all averaged over 230 for the tournament. Head on over to PBA.com to check out the new PBA Pro Bowling video game. It features the top pros, real equipment, authentic oil patterns, more than 100 tournaments and online play. It's now available for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and for your PC. The two seed, Maldonado from Houston, gets him all the drop. Sean's never won the, made, the uh, a national event on the PBA Tour. Like you mentioned, he does have regional wins, but very unique two-handed style. Yeah, he actually does put his thumb in it, but still uses that two-handed style. And then he's uh, infamous for that little hop at the end. What does that hop do for him or against it, it, him? It, it's, you know, it's his momentum that's pulling him in that direction. Oh, that was a good shot. And another one of your friends standing by. Stupid 10 pin. So arrogant. <laughs> the audacity. I, nothing more I hate in a pin than arrogance. And that's all that 10 pin has. The narcissistic yeah, audacity. Look at me. Look at right? me. Knock down the other nine and then just focus on me, the 10 pin. Me, me, me. Yeah, hit into the pit. Take that, 10 pin. Sean so starts with a strike and a spare. Pate steps up. 25 years old. Again, this is his first televised event from Invergrove Heights, Minnesota, just outside St. Paul. His mom, dad, sister, brother made the nine-hour commute to see Nick in action tonight here in Indianapolis. Looking to become the first bowler to win a title in his first televised event since Richie Teese did it. I'm talking with Tim Mack and Turk consultant for Nick Pate. I asked him what the strategy was going into the, the game against Maldonado, and he said he's going to stay with what he's doing. The urethane ball's working on the right lane because his speed is soft enough. And then, obviously, the real strong, aggressive ball in the left lane. Speaking of soft enough, did you get a load of uh, what he does in his spare time as a job? Who, Nick? Yeah. No. Works at a massage therapy studio. Where does it say that in his bio? I do my work, my friend. I go deep in the bio. Go on! Like a deep tissue massage. <laughs> Takes the kinks and the stress out of that. Well, I'll tell you what, he's done a really nice job of managing his game. He had the one hiccup the last game where he whiffed on the four pin, but he's made some nice shots and really has managed both lanes. What did he say his key was? The mental, mental, mental toughness. Yeah, the mental toughness, the mental focus. Tim Mack called him a maniac. 
He said, man, I had to, I had to focus differently. with the strike there, so he goes strike, spare, strike, and he's got a lot of fans, Kimberly, watching him back home in Houston right now. He absolutely does, and Sean Maldonado's adorable two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Mia, was born with profound hearing loss in both ears. Now, when she was just 15 months old, she had surgery for cochlear implants, and a month later in December of 2018, they were activated, and I'm happy to report that Mia is thriving and has now been hearing for just over a year. Still has some work with a speech therapist, a profession my mom had. So great respect for those who take care of that. Particularly when you're working with the young ones. Says she can hear just fine right now. She's catching up so quickly with her speech. One of her favorite words, it's not why. <laughs> it's no. 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 All different types of forms of no, yeah. right? Crossing the arms, shaking the head, the no. Uh, but it has been all yes for Maldonado so far. Three strikes in his first four frames. Level with Pate. Pate looking for a turkey. Oh, yeah! Three in a row now for Pate. Really good touch on that right lane with the urethane ball for Nick. Getting that to read properly and face the one three pocket the correct way. Remember the last match, Anthony Simonson using urethane left a couple of ring and tens on that lane. Nick doing an excellent job of managing both of these oil patterns. He's been fantastic in stringing strikes together. The opening match, he had a double closed with the four bagger. Last match, Five in a row. Frames three through seven. Come on, get that ten down. So that's going to end a string of three straight for him. And now he's got a real big challenge here in the fifth. Two, four, ten. Yeah, this ball doesn't get back. And looks like it was Hydra playing two, four, eight, ten. The eight goes last. He's going to try to get over here and slide. Cut that two pin over into the ten, and the ball will take out the four pin. Yes! Let's go! Well, this is how you draw it up, or at least that's how I did. And Nick must have been listening because he cut the two over in the ten perfectly and avoids an open frame. Remember that one in the fifth. Maldonado, down seven. The hop and the party in the pit. And his first lead. Three in a row from Maldonado. Wow. Right about 16, 17 out to about three, four. Had five, rather, let me take that back. Yes, had five top ten finishes last year. This will be his first of this campaign. Oh! Yeah, well, he's throwing a zing hybrid, and he just threw another zinger for a four-bagger, or as a good friend of mine.